Dr. Brinton. Well, thank you so much, Cheryl. I appreciate very much the opportunity to be here. And uh, we're very, very thankful for Christian Coalition and the leadership that's happened in the legislature. Speaker Hubbard, uh, the health committees, both the Senate and the House, the governor are strongly, strongly pro-life. And we, we've seen this evidence now in the legislature passing these bills. But it's been the activities by you and all these organizations that were brought together to make this happen. I want to talk just a minute about the medical standpoint of why HB 57 is important, which we talked about initially, but also just about the, the, the things about abortion in general. Um, I see signs here across about men being affected by abortion, and that's exactly right. Uh, men's lost fatherhood because of abortion. We have women that are uh, hurt by abortion. So it's, it's not just the baby, which is tragic enough, her life is dead there. But, just, but I have yet to see in my medical practice a woman come to my office and say, I'm glad I had an abortion. But I see thousands of women that come to my office and say, I regret and I'm still suffering from the effects of the abortion. So it's not just even the physical effects, it's the emotional effects, it's the, it's the spiritual effects and psychological effects of abortion that we need to be vigilant about, that there are more than just the victim of the baby, which is sad enough, but it's also the, the families and the women that are affected by abortion and the men of, of their lost children. So I want to share that with you. I also want to share with you that we are all about protecting the woman. You know, you hear so much from the other side saying, well, we want, we want to protect the rights of the women. Well, how can they be protecting the rights of women when they want them to be subjected to butchery that allows them to end up in our emergency rooms where we're taking care of the complications? And the abortionist is on a plane, a private plane, going back to wherever they came from. This is a tragedy that has to stop today in Alabama. not only as leader of Christian Coalition, but as a physician and thousands of physicians across the state, physicians for life, all of us are from the healthcare side of the equation, as, as April mentioned. We are determined to stop this travesty that is hurting so many lives, killing babies, destroying women's lives, destroying their psychological profiles for years, and destroying men's lives. We need to unite families, we need to protect life, and we can start by protecting women and making it, even those that happen to choose abortion, as sad as that is, that they're protected. And we can do that by making sure that they're, the people that do these have privileges at the hospitals, and make sure they will take care of their complications, and will not be dumped the complications on other doctors to deal with, and the, and the emotional effects they have on these women. So thank you for everything that you do here. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for Cheryl and all the groups that are working so hard on this issue. And we just need to continue to be vigilant. Thank you very much.